Let's roll on to today's market movers with easy to follow futures and options trades from CME Group. Welcome to Market Movers, I'm Jim Urio, and today we're talking about the upcoming debt ceiling deadlines that are going to be approaching in late September. We're looking at hedging risk using gold options for a potential government shutdown. Joining me is Chief Investment Officer of Kingsview Asset Management, Scott Martin. Hi, Jim. Scott, back in 2013, we were facing the same exact thing. We actually had a government shutdown. Gold, in a two and a half month period in the fall there, had a $300 range. Oddly, it's somewhat declined in that time. Is gold still a hedge against stress for this event? It, well, it's one of those situations, Jim, where as the market tends to see the same thing repeat itself over and over again if we do have another shutdown, I believe the market reaction is not going to be as swift as it was, say, some years ago. But the reality is, as a risk off trade, Trade is somewhat of a trade that's maybe the non-correlator. GC has been the trade to put on. Okay, how about this? How about they are quick to raise the debt ceiling? They agree on it. The market looks at that and considers it currency negative and just a, a, the same drumbeat of central banks spending, <laughs> I mean, pr pr producing money and government spending. Could that be good for gold? E easy money for everyone. Depreciation of currencies seems to spell at least an optimistic future for GC as we've seen in reaction to the weak dollar so far. Now, before we dive into our trade discussions, I'd like to point out that as with all market movers, it's important to view these trades as examples that allow you to see different ways to use features and options products to either manage risk or create additional trade opportunities, not as recommendations or advice. Prices and movements are going to vary by the time you're seeing this. The October contract in gold when we filmed this is trading at 12.88. Scott. So what a great time to be alive. And these are times I like looking at contracts like GC that tend to have that non-correlation value in your portfolio with respect to maybe the ZN or the ES. But looking at value today in the GC, I actually found some value on the other side of things based on what we were talking about there, which is in the put spread side. So specifically today, I'm looking at buying the October contract, the gold GC 1250, 1225 put spread. It'll be about two ticks to put on or 200 bucks. It expires on September 26th. It has the underlying at 1288, as you mentioned. So it risks the 200 you put out to make a potential 2300. Because if you look at the GC range in the last, say, year or six months, it's that 1200 to 1300 range. So if it starts to pull back a little bit with all this uh, wearing off of saying this anxiety, you're going to see that put spread start to fill out, and that's what I believe you can capitalize Here, I'm, on. I'm a little more gold positive than you. I like the risk reward of that. I also like that it's got to the 1300 to 1305 level, which seems to be significant. Some topping, yes. So I, I don't not like this trade, but I'm the other way. Interesting that it's called the October contract, but expires September 26th. It's mine as well. Now, I'm looking at buying the October gold, 1325, 1350 call spread for three ticks. Uh, this trade expires September 26th, called OCK, expires September 26th. And it has an October contract underlying. Now, three ticks, it costs you $300 to make a potential $2,200. Well, I disagree with the direction, obviously. But again, good risk reward here. And that's the key point. When you're seeing volatility tick up in the markets, whether it is ES, ZN, or certainly GC in this case, Wait for the, the volatility to kip up, kick up and maybe some of those spreads to fill in somewhat and manage the risk reward, right. too. You don't have to wait for these things to totally fill out, given that we're looking at September expert. Okay, and to put a finer point on it, too, I believe that if it settles above, let's call it 1310, that's where technically it all of a sudden gains strength. So, again, as, you, as it's priced, uh, the odds are you it might not fill out, but if it does, the risk reward is True, up. and then you've seen the reaction that GC's had to demise in D.C., comments from anybody out there that's talking about the economy, whether it's the Fed and, and so forth of the governors, and also the North Korea situation. Agreed. Thank you for joining us on Market Movers. I'm Jim Urio, where we are helping to make you a better trader.